All right, guys, you can see I got my uh, base port, baseboard and ember pan set up. I have a nest here, uh, my spindle, my bow, and I tried this earlier and I got a really good result from it. This is a, a wheel I picked up off of a Razor scooter, I guess. Um, it's kind of like a skateboard wheel or a... Um, a uh, pair of rollerblades or something but it's got this nice bearing in it and I was gonna take it out and make it my own handhold out of leather um, you know because Colhane made a video where he made something similar but he took the bearing out and put it inside a block of leather and uh, had really good results with it but I figured you know this thing's almost perfect to fit my hand so I might as well just leave it in there so uh, what I'm going to do, I tried this earlier and I got a 10 second coal. Um, that's a coal, not the actual fire to blow it into flames, but um, my knees are bad so I'm going to have to sit, but I'm going to try to get this thing set up here. I'm going to go for this hole right here, get this in my bow. Get my wheel set up on top. I'm going to try to adjust the camera to where you'll be able to see pretty good. Alright, so there's my wheel sitting on top here. And the, uh, the spindle is resting just barely inside the bearing, but enough to where it'll, it should hold. So, here we go. Alright, so I know I got a coal because it's smoking by itself. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that, but. I've learned through practice not to rush with this part. You don't want to take too much time, but you don't want to rush either. I'll go ahead and slip that guy in there. And there's fire from the bow drill. I don't know how long that took me. You can check on the clock, um, but it wasn't very long. Um, I know it was probably less than 30 seconds to get a coal, and that was a pretty good size coal. Um, so, and I've tried this many, many times. A lot of the time, I'm unsuccessful. But to show how well this works. If you look at the end that was in the board, let me turn the light on here. If you look at the end that was in the board, it's black. If you look at the end that's inside the, the bearing, it's not. I mean, the very tip is, but that could be from an older 
uh, attempt. Um, but for the most part, this is not uh, black. I mean, it, you can see it just rests just inside there like that. And then just spins back and forth. And it's almost effortless. But, uh, so, I just figured I'd show you guys that. And I've been practicing uh, bow drill here recently. I want to get back into it. But, uh, so, I need to get me a new board. This one's almost wore out. So anyway, let me know what you think, and uh, if you've tried using some kind of a skateboard wheel or a scooter wheel or whatever, let me know. And s let me know how it worked for you. Um, but you know, like I said, I was going to take the bearing out and put it inside a block of leather, but which I may make another one. But I got two of these wheels. Uh, plus two Allen wrenches for 19 bucks. So I've got two brand new Allen wrenches to throw in my toolbox. And I can always pop the other one out and make a leather one. But for right now, this wheel fits my hand perfectly. And, it you know, it just works good. So I think I'm going to stick with that for a little while. Um, I think if I make a leather one, it'll probably be just a hair lighter. But... So, anyway, like I said, if you got any comments or questions, please feel free to let me know. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching.